Kinetic and potential energy of atoms. Well, you remember what kinetic energy is. It's the energy of motion, of movement. Potential energy is stored energy, like that rock up on the ledge. It's about to come crashing down and get converted into kinetic energy. And you remember that energy can easily be converted from potential energy to kinetic energy and back to potential energy. Um, well, this also applies to the atomic, at the atomic level, to atoms. So, for example, we've got an atom, and here's the nucleus, and here's some electrons going around it in their shells. And if we apply some energy to that atom, energize that atom, we're going to increase the kinetic energy. Well, what does that mean? Well, the kinetic energy of the atom is really in the electrons. And these electrons are going to get excited and increase their kinetic energy the motion of the electrons. And when they get excited, enough energy, they can actually jump out here to an, to an orbital farther away from the center. And when they jump up and get, become farther away from the center, that's potential energy. That energy has now been converted to a form of energy that's stored energy. What will happen now is, at some point, this excited atom will release that energy, and the electron will jump back down. And when it does that, it will convert that potential energy back into kinetic energy. And that kinetic energy might be in the form of visible light. So when you see something burning, what's happening in those uh, atoms after they get excited, they're jumping back down and releasing light energy. And you're, you're seeing that in the color of the, the visible light. Uh, or it might be releasing it in the form of heat. So these are types of kinetic energy, energy of motion. So what happens to atoms is they absorb energy, they become, elect they become excited, excited electrons jump to higher orbitals where they store that energy, and then at some point they will release that energy and convert it back into kinetic energy. So this is just showing kinetic and potential energy are easily transferred even at the atomic level, and we see that in atoms.